In this video, we'll go through the short process to perform a factory reset of an Edge Connect appliance. This process mainly applies to hardware appliances, since Edge Connect Virtual can be deleted and redeployed from OVA or other installation package. That said, it is technically possible to use this factory reset procedure on an ECV as well. Before we get started, we will first discuss the prerequisites, detail what will happen to your appliance, and we'll demo the process. To be able to perform the factory reset, you'll need the following prerequisites. CLI access. This can be using the physical console port for hardware appliances or the virtual console for ECV. This is the preferred option, since a factory reset may cause you to lose access to the appliance via an IP address you may be relying on. CLI access can also be achieved via SSH or the orchestrator's CLI session feature, but unless you know that you'll still be able to access the appliance via some DHCP interface, for example, this is not the recommended option here. As well as CLI access, you'll need administrative privileges. Typically, this is the local admin account, but it could also be a login from a remote authentication server. You'll need to be able to log in as a user with admin rights to be able to issue the factory reset command. Lastly, just to reiterate, you'll need a way to access the appliance after the configuration has been reset. The physical or virtual console ports will provide you that access to reconfigure the appliance. When a factory reset is performed, the configuration databases are erased and all settings are returned to their default factory state. This includes all interface IP addresses. Where DHCP is available, you may find that an address is assigned to Management 0, for example. Management 1 is always available via 169.254.0.1 for most hardware appliances. It should also be noted that a factory reset removes the option to revert back to previous versions. A configuration database is stored per version, so when factory reset is invoked, those previous version files are also erased. So please be aware that there isn't an undo option once a factory reset has been performed. You can take a snapshot for ECV prior to factory reset, but I can't think of a good reason why you'd want to. As a general note, it is possible to use older versions of ECOS, but you'll need to factory reset to force the older version to boot. For example, if you receive a replacement hardware appliance and you need it to be running on an older version. We have a KB article that discusses this in detail. Search for downgrade in our knowledge base. The process for performing a factory reset is quick and easy. First, connect to the appliance console, ideally using the physical or virtual console port. For this demo, I'm using ECV but this will look the same for a physical appliance as well. Log in as admin or a user with administrative privileges and enter the password. By default, this is admin, but it is expected to be something different if the unit was in production. Type en for enable mode and press enter. Type config t to enter configuration mode and press enter. Next, type reboot empty dash db and press enter. Once you press enter here, the appliance will immediately begin the process of rebooting and erasing the configuration files. It takes about the same time as a normal reboot, so it won't be long before your appliance is back up and running in its default state. You'll see on the console the process of the boot scrolling by, and after a few minutes, the login prompt appears. Note that the host name has now changed back to the default Silver Peak. From here, you can begin your configuration as normal. Most likely, you'll give it an IP address for Management 0 or LAN 0 and access it via the web interface. And that's it. If you need configuration assistance, please check our configuration guides on our website.